What's up world? It's your man Sebastian Francis checking in and today we are doing a vlog for the Soul Soul Cypher series because I'm going to kick it off first just like we used to do at the shows and I'm out here solo so I wanted to give y'all a little behind the scenes look at you know what's going on, how I'm going to get it done and just how much work I really put in and a lot of entrepreneurs really put in. So we're gonna get right to it, man. This is day two of that same shoot for the So So Sunday Cypher series. This is what the work is like. I had to come back out here to shoot some B-roll because I didn't get any yesterday. And you know, now the lighting's different. It's sunny, it's cold as hell though. But you know, we, we, we gonna make it do what it do, man. And uh, more than anything, man, I just hope y'all rock with the content. You know what I'm saying? Cause I'm out here, I'm out here cold, cold, cold sweats, nigga, all that, nigga, like doing the work, you know. So I'm gonna get to. Um, it. I'm gonna go ahead and start off by saying this was an idea that I had. I should have been had it when the pandemic first kicked off, but it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? At least we're doing it now. But this idea was perfect, you know, especially with us not knowing how long we're gonna be in this pandemic, especially with me, you know what I'm saying, getting COVID and God, I, th I thank God for beating COVID. But since LA, I've been doing shows. I did shows out here in Atlanta. I've also done audio for shows out here in Atlanta. And, you know, upon getting the camera, I wanted to shoot a lot more. Like I, 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 I've been shooting like pictures for the homies, like shooting music videos for the homies and whatnot. And you know, like studio sessions and all that. And I was like, you know what? I need to go ahead and put all of this, all of this knowledge and all of these skills to use. Cause it's like, you know, I, I make beats. I, I know how to engineer like live sound and in the studio and Ever since shooting Manhood, the movie, like, I just had this knack, like, man, I gotta keep shooting, man, I gotta shoot some films, like, I've just been trying to shoot whenever I can and trying to shoot everything, you know what I'm saying? So, this is more so, this is definitely a passion project, but it's also a way for me to provide a platform once again for not just myself, but for local artists that I rock with, you know what I'm saying? Like rappers, singers, different producers eventually, you know what I'm saying? And just really like allowing people to see, first of all, the network that I have, the talent that's in the network that I have, and also showing that everybody in Atlanta ain't trapping and everybody in Atlanta ain't selling runs or whatever the case is. and busting guns and stepping and all that shit. It's like some niggas really out here be spitting. And you know, a lot of niggas that's out here is not Atlanta natives, but that's that's a whole nother story. But you know this, I was like, you know, I wanted to shoot with, I already got people scheduled for the shoots, but I'm like, you know, instead of waiting to, to link up with people, cause you know how people can be. Instead of waiting to link up with people, let me go ahead and kick it off with mine first. You know what I'm saying? And the song that y'all hear in the video is a, a song that I produced, you know what I'm saying? Niggas, niggas don't got no ghostwriters, so you know, I really wrote those bars, nigga, you know what I'm saying? But that's, that is what it is. Um, but it was, it was a dope, it was a dope challenge for me because it's like, okay, I got this idea. I don't really know how, I know how to execute it, but I don't know how the end product's gonna be. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and I'ma also keep it a buck with y'all. Like, I really wanted this idea to also promote the other talents and things that I have. Cause it's like, I got beats that's been sitting in my folders for months, for years, for a long time. And I send them out, you know what I'm saying? Niggas don't. I gave out a free beat pack when the pandemic kicked off in like April. Bruh, I only got, only like maybe two people responded with songs. And I'm just like, okay, so it's not me. 
And it's not and the beats to me they were stowaways, but it was some hot beats in there, you know what I'm saying? But at the same time, I'm like, oh, okay, it's not me. Like, a lot of niggas really don't be working for this shit. Like a lot of niggas just dream. A lot of people think like, oh, I'm just finna make a couple songs and some something's gonna go viral and I'm just finna blow up and live happily ever after. Like, nah, bro, like, especially if a nigga's giving you a folder full of beats. Bro, use them shits. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, I'm saying all that to say, like, this, the, you know, this So So Sunday Cypher series is also a way for me to promote my production and, you know, get my name out there as a producer, as well as the artists that's spitting on these beats or singing on these beats, a way for them to get out there. Because, you know, me working at Doppler here in Atlanta and you know, meeting different a &Rs, different people, like, so I'm not trying to sound crazy or toot my horn, but some people be looking at what I be doing, you know what I mean? And I look at it as, okay, like, y'all are also getting a chance to be looked at by those same people that's in my network. So it, it, it's all, it all comes full circle, because I'm not, I know that I can't be successful alone. Like, I know that it takes a hot art. It, it takes an artist and a producer to build the sound together and to build a movement together because nobody is trying to do business with you if you ain't got some shit moving already. And that's just facts, you know? And even for me, as a producer, as an engineer, as an artist, I be thinking like, oh yeah, niggas gonna have to, niggas gonna have to rock with me when they see all this work that I'm doing. But it's like, no, nah, niggas is, I've sent beats to a &Rs, to all types of people that never listen to them joints. And I don't take it personal. You know what I'm saying? I don't take it personal. I understand the game though. They not gonna rock with you till you got 100K followers and you got 100K streams and they got a pie for them to get a piece of. And that's, that, that's not no shade to nobody that I know personally. Like, it's always love. But I, I, it's it's the game, bro. Like, just the same way, like, niggas won't really respect you unless they see your credits and it got some niggas with some clout in the credits. So it's like, okay, all right, cool. So my mentality is, and, and my thing has always been, I know this is probably my pride and probably has, like, messed up opportunities for me, but I'm going to stand firm with this. I don't want to have to go to no nigga and be like, yo, bro, listen to my music, please. Or, or... You need to rock with me. Now it's gonna be like, bro, I want y'all niggas to come to me. Because when you come to me and we talking, we it's a respect there. You ain't gonna look at me as no little nigga. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna be like, oh bro, I see what you're doing, I like what you're doing. Let's work together. It's not gonna be like, man, this nigga hitting me up trying to get a plate and I'm doing this, this, that, and the third. It's like, no, bro, like, I like what you're doing, bro. Let me help you out. Or let's get some bread together. You know what I mean? So Ain't no serendipitous moments. As my man Capriccio Skates would say in class. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no serendipitous moments. You gotta put in the groundwork. You gotta get your hands in the dirt. Like learn every aspect of your craft and put it together and package it and understand marketing. Understand like it takes like LMA song boot up was out for a year before that joint caught fire, bro. So that means there was money being spent on promotions that nobody really knew about. They just knew that the song just blew up out of nowhere. You know what I'm saying? So saying all that to say, man, you got to put in the work. I'm using this platform right now to put in the work. So So Sundays is going to be a thing continuously when the world opens back up, we gonna go back to the live shows. But for now, I'm gonna give it to y'all on video with one artist at a time or a group of artists or whatever the case may be. And we just gonna keep putting out content. And eventually, somebody gonna see it. Somebody gonna respect it. Somebody gonna be like, yo, let me invest in that or let's, let's break bread or woo woo. And then for all you niggas, for all you niggas that didn't carry me, I swear on my life, when I get the popping and you niggas come to me and want to work, 
Run me that ticket, boy. I don't care what none of you niggas is saying, because niggas have carried me for years. But you niggas will see it this year, I promise you. I promise you. You know what I'm saying? So, it's always peace and love, man. So So Sunday Cypher Series. Expect a new one every month. Expect some BTS every month. Expect some new beats for y'all to listen to, for y'all to rap to, for y'all to purchase. Because there ain't no more free shit 2021. You know what I'm saying? So, like I said, peace and love, man. It's Sebastian Francis. So So Productions. Go cop some merch. Head over to SebastianFMusic.com. Make sure you like and subscribe. Comment. Show some love and support. Go check out Manhood the Movie. And we'll be back with y'all next month.